Hi folks, welcome back to Mossy Roots Farm. Today we're continuing the series of Can It Save Time or Money or Both? And this is the mistake I was telling you guys about in a previous video. So if you haven't watched that, go back and check it out because this is definitely a mistake that I made, at least in the way I was thinking. So I have a lot of trees that have been coming down with all the storms and uh, I've had a lot of firewood and I haven't gotten around to selling it because I really don't feel like dealing with people and loading it up into somebody's truck and all of that fun stuff. So what I decided was to make my own mulch. That's why the log splitter's here, so I could split logs up small enough to fit into the tiny hole of the log of the wood chipper, I mean. And then I can make mulch for my garden, because we're doing what's called a Back to Eden garden, which basically just throw wood chips on top of your garden and continue to add wood chips throughout the years. You plant directly into the wood chips, um, and then as the wood chips break down, they create amazing nutrients and soil for your plants, and well, you get the idea. However, a $600 wood chipper, a $2,000 wood splitter, let's just say a log splitter, so $2,600, and I can buy all the mulch I need for $50 to do my garden every year. So that's going to take me, heck, that's going to take me like 52, 52 years to cover the cost if I only use these pieces of equipment for that one purpose. If that's the only thing I ever do with it, it's going to take me that long. And it's time consuming. Uh, I'll talk about that in a minute, but this is actually rented or borrowed, I mean, so I don't have to worry about its cost. I did purchase that for $600, but I have another use for these that I think I can make my money back on. But let's just go see how much two hours, let's call it, of labor nets you if you're doing wood chips. Now, I will say this, I'm still learning, still figuring it out, so I'm not efficient yet. Um, I also don't know what the best way to do this is yet, because I'm trying to figure that out still. But that tiny amount of wood chips is all I got for two hours. Now, as you can see, some of that is smaller branches, you know, so you're not going to get a whole lot of wood chips from a branch that's like the size of a small pinky. Um, but some of it was logs like that that I happened to cut up. Um, and like this guy over here, I tried to chip. But uh, the thing I found out is, is the chipper... Oh, that's actually broke, so I could have thrown those in there. I, well, this one... So this is a great example. This wood chipper is so small, it only has a 3-inch opening. This bend here was keeping this piece from going in. So I would have to cut it here, or even in the middle of the bend. And then you see it still kind of bows this way. So I might even have to cut some of this off. So by the time you do all of that, hi cat, by the time you do all of that, you're wasting so much time cutting that up for a small amount of wood chips. Like all of this, this is all stuff that wouldn't fit. This is a pretty small piece of wood right here, but this knot is too wide. And I'd have to cut it with a splitter again to try and get that. And that's pretty difficult because all it wants to do is, since it's so thin down here, is just zigzag. So I will definitely say this is a mistake I've, I've made. Now, you could say, well, there's other ways to go about this. There's other ways to make money with it. You can use those successfully in business operations. And I'll say absolutely. And I'll also say that if I had a wood burner at home and all I had was electric heat, I would also consider getting a wood splitter and a bunch of firewood to save money on my utility bill, my electric bill, oil bill, whatever bill you got. <clears throat> However, I don't have that. My wood burner is not set up to heat the entire house. It's only set up to heat the basement. Um, I would like to maybe change that someday because um, the house down in the woods there, I used to live there. We had that set up. We saved bunches of money, but then you've got all the time and the equipment to do all of that. Like I say, you got to buy your wood, uh, your log splitter. You got to buy a chainsaw of some kind to cut it up. You got to have some sort of machinery to haul logs. Either a little wagon like this with a four wheeler or a tractor, or a tractor with a front loader bucket, or even a dump truck like the red truck back there. But then you get into, well, you got to handle it a bunch of times. You got to split it, throw it in the back of the truck. So how much time and money are you really saving? 
So that's just, uh, that's been my big mistake, or at least big mistake in how I've been using it. I'm going to maybe attempt to see about doing a firewood business that's slightly different. Uh, maybe I can make some of the money back on the wood chipper, because I'm definitely not going to be saving any money, and I'm sure not going to be saving any time. Um, especially when most tree trimming companies, if you're close to wherever they have a job, they will gladly dump the wood chips off on your property um, instead of having to haul them elsewhere or pay to dump them somewhere. So this, in my personal opinion, is not saving time nor money. But it is fun. It gives you something to do if you don't have anything else to do. And... If my business goes through, I think I could make my money back with the equipment I bought if I could start this business. So, alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.